At an assembly during the first week of the drive, a musical theme kept the fires of enthusiasm burning. When you see a frosh going on in the My first experience of the drive would be the winter of 95, and Father Donaher sought me out to be a part of the drive entertainment, and I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Walking down the hallways the first morning of drive, Monday morning when all the hallways were decorated, and I could not believe what the students did. Um, I'm known to do the slip and slide, whether it's the ice cream sundae or the hot dog, um, <laughs> condiments, uh, slip and slide. Uh, the entire student body came down to the center of the gym and recorded their own version of the Harlem Shake, which was participated in by, I think, all of the priests, a lot of the faculty went down there. Um, it was really, it, it was fun. Um, Mr. Aiello, who's on the faculty, and, and some other guys from my class, we did uh, a live skit called Faculty Feud. We had uh, the God Squad, which were students portraying some of our Brazilian fathers and then one lay uh, faculty member who taught theology. And we had uh, some other students who were on Team Nanny. Uh, Mrs. Nanny, a former faculty member, and, and some other faculty members were portrayed by students uh, in this game of family feud. And somehow he convinced me to go shirtless into the gym with a face painted on my belly while I wore like this strange contraption over my head so I looked like a giant like talking face. And I remember it was me and a kid named Mike Gatteri who was really short and I was really big. And we went out there and everybody was laughing and hollering and I realized like what a blast it was. It was hilarious. And Father Donaher was like the ringleader of this, of this drive. I remember Father Donaher walking through the cafeteria holding up a big cardboard sign talking about going down to like Gross Point or St. Clair Shores to go and sell drive tickets getting us ready, teaching us the songs, getting very upset when we didn't take it seriously. Um, I remember him during drive wearing the bus schedule to where he could go to sell tickets on his front and back side. He would just put a clip on his shirt with a handwritten note saying, bus to Birmingham, leaving at this time, bus to here on the other side. And instead of actually just making an announcement, he would just walk up and down the halls and say, read my shirt. And his enthusiasm was contagious. Um, he was an amazing man. After I experienced Drive for the first time, it was probably one of the most amazing productions I've ever been a part of. To see all of the kids, the faculty, the staff, at every assembly, you have parents, alumni, uh, to have everybody collectively come together for this one great cause and genuinely be all in on the effort uh, was something really special to watch and be a part of. It gives tuition assistance. It helps so many young men come to Catholic Central and experience this, this wonderful education and this, this opportunity. To me, the drive is most important to Catholic Central because of what it stands for. Beyond the free days, beyond the spirit days, it's about helping your brothers. I think the drive is important to Catholic Central because tradition is really important here at Catholic Central. And that's got to be one of the biggest staples of tradition here. Uh, the kids know the stories about the sales and the Harlem Shake and all of the other big things that happened during the drive. And so to keep that tradition going is important. But even more important is the meaning of it and all of you know, the brothers in the stands that wouldn't be there if it weren't for the drive. And it's a good portion of them that are truly benefiting and getting to experience all of our traditions. I mean, not just the drive, but everything we do that wouldn't exist without the drive itself. It's just become a, you know, part of the tradition and fabric of the school to be able to, uh, to do so much good in raising the money we do, but to be able to reward the kids through the, those free days and through quota prizes and, and cash drawings and that kind of stuff. It's, I mean, it's, it's really quite remarkable. Most fundraisers don't give that much back to the kids actually raising the money and doing the work. And this fundraiser, I think, uh, does an awful lot of that. Just remember the drive is about tuition assistance and about helping fellow Shamrocks get into the school that normally could not get into this school. So it's very important to us. Mm -hmm. And I think the boys have really 
um, clung on to that concept. I think it's what helps them sell those tickets. And for any of you out there that are being asked to buy a ticket, just remember that. Because our guys will do anything for the drive, the drive, the drive, our guys will do anything for the drive.